In China and Japan, mushrooms have long been used for medicinal and healing purposes. Not too long ago, Western society viewed mushrooms as having no nutritional value and almost unworthy. But after discovering 400 plus species of mushrooms, more and more benefits are being uncovered. As some mushrooms lower cholesterol while others have natural statins in them and cancer fighting properties. Given the overprescribing of medication that's plagued our country for years now, mushrooms are being looked at in a new light. Organizations are funding this research more than ever before and essentially stepping away from the medication that's not needed. In the book, No One Drugs Are Better and No One To Let Your Body Heal On Its Own, Andrew Whale talks about how doctors are contributing to the overuse of drugs, why many of us should not be taking statin drugs to lower cholesterol, and how mushrooms can help with their natural healing properties. He says, quote, I have argued for years that we do not have a healthcare system in America. We have a disease management system, one that depends on ruinously expensive drugs and surgeries that treat health conditions after they manifest, rather than giving our citizens a simple diet lifestyle and therapeutic tools to keep them healthy. The best way to detoxify is to stop putting toxic things in the body and depend upon its own mechanisms." Unquote. Specifically, we're going to talk about seven mushrooms that are definitely worth trying if you prefer more natural medicine. Let's get started. First off is Lion's Mane. With its light color, in contrast to its dark surroundings, this peculiar mushroom stands out before gaining notoriety in Western culture. Korea, China, and Japan have made use of it for thousands of years and, most notably, it's known for its positive influence on brain function and neurological health. The compounds of lion's mane can cross the blood barrier, and once within, the compounds stimulate nerve growth factor and brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is what keeps our brains capable of sending and receiving information. Now, in a study conducted in 2020, People with Alzheimer's took one gram of lion's mane for 49 weeks. After that two week period, it was shown that cognitive test scores improved significantly when compared to the placebo group. It's believed that it stimulates nerve growth and a Japanese study published in 2009 found that the test scores of study participants who took lion's mane in tablet form improved over the course of 16 weeks, but declined after they stopped taking it. The researchers concluded that the lion's mane mushrooms are effective in improving mild cognitive impairment. Because of studies like this, lion's mane has become more and more well known, and the health and wellness industry saw a steady increase in demand for what came to be known as the smart mushroom. So much so that college students have been known to take it as a more natural alternative to staying focused. Although it's generally well tolerated, some have experienced abdominal discomfort, nausea, and skin rash. Sautéing them or roasting them is the best way to cook them, and once they're cooked, you can add them to a delicious sandwich for the cherry on top or mix it in with a delicious stir -fry. In general, cognitive function relies on healthy neurons, so if we want to stay alert as we age, it would be wise to incorporate this into our diets. But even better, stronger immune systems, decrease in depression and anxiety, and protection against ulcers in digestive tracts developing have also been reported. But before we keep going, hi, my name is Kim and welcome to The Green Lab Coach. If you enjoy living a healthy lifestyle backed by science, make sure to hit the like button to help the algorithm. And for more videos on the plant-based world and corruption in food industries, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for complicated subjects made easy. Let's get started. Shiitake mushrooms are native to mountain regions where they grow on fallen logs. Thousands of years ago, people in China first started harvesting them and knew them as shanky or dongo. The practice then eventually spread to Japan. Shiitake mushrooms are amazing in flavor. These meaty and savory mushrooms contain a substance called eridadenan, which encourages body tissues to absorb cholesterol and lower the amount circulating in the blood, in turn lowering your risk of heart disease. What I find absolutely amazing is shiitake have the same amino acids as meat and have antiviral and anti-cancer effects. To prepare, remove the stems or slice fresh ones thinly, as they are often tough. Now, I personally love making these as a carnita tacos alternative. As of now, China produces 80 to 90% of the world's supply. And now we're going to talk about an adaptogen. An adaptogen is any natural substance that helps your body calm down after being in a state of stress. Chamomile and lavender are perfect examples. 
Maitake mushrooms, also known as hen of the woods, because of its clusters that resemble the tail feathers of a nesting hen, is known for its incredible healing properties. Now, compared to other mushrooms, it's also shown better results in preventing and treating cancer. This 2013 study indicated that maitake mushrooms can fight the growth and reproduction of cancerous cells in women with breast cancer and have also shown to suppress the tumor growth of mites. Now, all of our bodies have cancer-fighting cells. Maitake can also increase those cells to help in the fight against cancer. And going back to its adaptogen properties, the mushroom got its name, which means dancing mushroom, after people danced with happiness upon taking them. Next is cordyceps. Now, I like to think of this as the exercise mushroom. Unlike other mushrooms, cordyceps mushrooms grow on the larvae of insects. When fungi attacks these juvenile hosts, they then replace the larvae's tissue with long, slender stems that grow outside the larvae's body. That is to say, these mushrooms are basically fungi and insects in one. It's not very pleasant to think about, but the benefits are. Now, two things. First, many studies done on this fungi are limited to mice or lab studies, which aren't considered as significant as human studies. But the benefits range from anti-aging properties, potential anti-tumor effects, possible heart health, fighting inflammation. Again, these may or may not benefit you. And number two, the studies that were done on humans showed that cordyceps mushrooms can boost exercise performance in non-athletes. Now, three studies took healthy older adults and young adults and tested them for six to 12 weeks. They found that all adults taking this as a supplement saw an increase in exercise performance. No studies have confirmed how much of this is too much or too little, but a long history of traditional Chinese medicine suggests that they are non-toxic. Next is enoki mushrooms. And I like to think of this mushroom as the versatile mushroom because they don't have one benefit that stands out more than the rest. From being anti-cancerous to supporting heart health and cognitive function, they are absolutely packed with nutrients and vitamins. And for this reason, they may slow cancer cell growth for the stomach, breast, and cervical cancer. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that extracts used in these studies were in higher amounts. So it's not clear how much one would need in order to take it as a supplement. This mushroom has a mild flavor and a crunchy texture. It's slightly earthy and can be added to soups, salads, and stir fries. Gourmet chefs often cook it with soy sauce or sesame oil, salt, and pepper. And incorporating them into ramens, risottos, or grain bowls is said to taste wonderfully as well. Now, these next mushrooms are strictly medicinal and are not to be taken in a culinary form. Reishi mushrooms have a positive effects on mental health and I like to think of this one as the mental health mushroom. It's tough, wood-like, and has a bitter taste. They have a long history of being used in China where they were reserved for royalty to improve health and extended life. Now, it has an overall calming effect and studies have linked its components to lower levels of depression, anxiety, and apparently improves sleep quality. It's been dubbed nature's Xanax, and anyone with excessive stress could probably benefit from this. Now, again, this mushroom is strictly medicinal. You can drink reishi as a strong tea, but most people prefer the capsules. It's also shown to help a variety of other things like immune function, inhibiting malignant tumor growth, reducing allergic responsiveness, and protecting the liver. Now, reishi doesn't come without its side effects. For some, they experience itching, dry mouth, upset stomach, nosebleeds, and even bloody stools. Those with low blood pressure should avoid it. But if you think that it's worth trying, take reishi every day for two months to see what it can do for you. Finally, we have turkey tail, a purely medicinal mushroom with proven anti-cancer effects. Now, if you live in the US, you probably haven't heard of turkey tail, but many nations around the world are familiar and have been using it to treat various conditions for years and years and years. It's actually now one of the most studied mushrooms yet. Although some other benefits have been reported, its most impressive quality is its ability to enhance the immune system and gut health. Now, turkey tail suppresses inflammation, activates immune cells, and fights cancer cells. Also, because of the prebiotics in turkey tail, it has a positive effect on the gut. Believe it or not, many people actually buy this for their dogs. And because you stayed until the end, I'm going to give you one more mushroom, and that is the tremella mushroom. Tremella mushrooms are claimed to preserve one's natural beauty. 
In fact, it's said to be one of the most beneficial ingredients for maintaining a radiant and youthful complexion. And this is because of its ability to hold on to moisture. They grow in warm tropical regions and their fruiting body contains a nearly translucent white loofah-like or jellyfish appearance. But despite its unique appearance and jellyfish-like texture, it's totally edible. You may come across a dried tremella, which it can easily be rehydrated and incorporated into dishes. Now, tremella mushrooms can be used in recipes from smoothies to soups and salads and even desserts. The most important thing to take out of this is if you're not careful, you could put yourself in danger. So it's important to really know what these mushrooms look like. By educating yourself on what mushrooms could benefit you in your life, you could alter your life significantly in a good way. So let me know down below in the comment section, which mushroom are you really interested in trying out for yourself?